Your comments, my name is Eric Auberg and I'm a sophomore here at UT Dallas. I'm going to be taking over the general school page today to answer any questions you may have about UTD and college in general, as well as giving my tips about starting college and getting organized. So be sure to swipe up and give me your questions and I'll answer them today. First question I have is where can I find events that are happening on campus and there's the comic calendar which is at utd.edu slash calendar and that has every single event happening at UTD. here on campus and since I have a green parking pass I like to park in parking structure one so that's where I am on the top floor. Second question is what was my biggest obstacle as a freshman and that is basically just getting out of your comfort zone. You're at a new place around new people just get out of it get involved go to events and you'll definitely overcome it and have fun question is, is there a marketing club at UTD? And there's actually quite a few I already know. There's tons of billboards inside JSOM. You can find them. Go to utdallas.presence.io to see all the clubs um, on campus. And I'll try to tag a few right here. The camera I was using was actually my iPhone's XS. So um, pretty nice, pretty nice. And I'm super glad you liked the time lapse. So the application decision deadlines for fall 2020 are going to be December 1st for priority uh, decision and then May 1st um, for regular decision. So be sure to just go to utd.edu slash apply to apply as soon as possible. Story time. So back in the spring semester, there was a hail warning. So school got canceled. Everyone got emails right during uh, our lecture and our professor was like, all right, everyone just class dismissed. Go save your cars. So glad someone asked this question. So this will be a few stories actually, um, since I love time management and just being efficient. But um, first thing to do is definitely getting a digital calendar. So let me get into that. In college, you're going to have tons of events, tons of work, um, class schedules, everything. So um, how I stay organized and how I'm able to really have like um, be efficient with my time is having a digital calendar and not any digital calendar, but a Google calendar. If you guys have never heard of Google Calendar, it's a service that comes with your Gmail. If you have one of those, if not, definitely get one. It's great. Um, so basically, it's a free calendar app. Um, I like it better than Microsoft and Apple Calendar just because I know it will sync to my computer, to my phone, to everything that I need. Um, it's more reliable than all the other ones. So definitely go with that. And then, as you can see, this was my first week of school last semester, so I definitely stay on top of things, um, whether that's like my class schedule, that's uh, weeks of welcome events, hang out with friends and then just like homework and work and things like that it really does help me stay on top of time and be efficient Google Calendar is really how I'm able to stay involved on campus with all the things that I do I'm involved in esports I'm on cheer I take 15 hour credit hour classes I was an orientation leader I worked an internship this summer I did another part-time job remotely and then I just had a huge social life so um, just with the Google Calendar I was able to really have everything in my life really laid out um, and not procrastinate and it truly like reminded me I have reminders set for one um, hour before one day before and 10 minutes before and that's definitely saved me um, it's definitely saved me time as well and whenever you get your syllabuses um, enter in your class schedule that will help you I honestly forgot about classes sometimes and with my calendar I was able to remember and same with due dates same with exams put in time to study and it will just take off so much stress for you and allow you to do so much more in college for succeeding in my classes well actually first go to class. Um, some freshmen think they can't go to class and can still get the content. You definitely can't. Going to class is a huge thing and then getting involved um, by asking questions, being interactive in the class, that will help. So I'm just doing my quick research on Google. I believe an MBA is more for general studies while an MS is for specialties like a specific in-depth field such as marketing. So um, just check the JSON site for more information on that. I'm a commuter, I'm not too sure, but let me show you a map real quick of what I think is the best route. Passes are really your preference on how far you want to walk. There's not many green near buildings. Um, gold is the next higher one, and that's actually the yellow looking paint. If you're living on campus, you have to get a residential one for overnight parking events for you today during the weeks of welcome would have to be the silent disco it's so much fun definitely go out to that and then for spring of palooza it would be the splatter dance that was so much fun
PD is 50 years old this year, so as you can see, they have really cool things around campus now, and then they have that new poster on the building. I love that you guys are doing so great, UTD. You go look great. We have over 100 and I believe 25 magnolia trees here at the Reflections Pools. Um, if you have never been here, they're so cool. The view is... <gasps> Fantastic, and there's the plinth, hello. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, UTD. So, quick life hack. If you see these and step over them, during the summer, they blow out cold air. Um, I guess it's just like how AC works. And then in the winter, it's warm air. So, if you just want AC outside, step on these. It's so cool, it's the best life hack. Not even joking, this thing is blowing cold air. I can sit here all day, enjoy the nice view with like 60, 40, uh, 80 degree weather. Much. I am so happy you like my backpack. It's actually for being a student athlete on campus. So if you want to get one, um, I don't think you can buy it, but come join an athletic team by going to utdcomments.com. As many boxes as you need, you'll have all the day to move into your dorm. Um, don't like pack too less because you're too worried. And feel free to reach out to housing at utdallas.edu for help. Still standing here for after like 20 minutes. Um, just chilling because this nice cold air is amazing. But my phone is overheating, so I'm gonna go inside, show you guys the student union, as well as the esports room. The student union, this is basically the hub of UTD for students. You got pool tables down there, as you can see. Um, you have tons of games, you can check out consoles, you can game in the pub, you've got Starbucks, tons of dining options, and yeah, it's a great place to hang out. The turtles. If you're interested in joining any of the athletic teams here at UTD, go to utdcomments.com, their official website, click on the specific team page, or email the coaches for more information. I already answered this in one of the stories before. Go get a Google Calendar, get organized, and you'll be super efficient. Go to utdallas.edu slash parking. That'll be the parking and transportation's office's website, and that will contain all bus stop and information. I'm currently outside my absolutely favorite room in the student union, and that is the esports gaming arena. This is the private room for the esports team, our 14th athletic uh, team here at UTD. And as you can see, uh, it's pretty cool. Let me show you guys inside. To get in, all the athletes scan. Oh my gosh, that worked. Uh, I have my comp card on my phone. And then, boom, we are inside. Since I'm now in the esports room, I'm going to be answering the esports related questions I've been getting. And yeah, let me get into how you can get involved in our program. Since I'm now in the esports room, I'm going to be answering the esports related questions I've been getting. And yeah, let me get into how you can get involved in our program. Sports program is such a prestigious level. We do have really high requirements on trying out for the team. So if you don't make the team, no worries, you can still get involved. If you're a content creator, we have just launched our stream team program. So you go to utdesports.com slash stream team, and then you'll be able to apply with your Twitch channel. We're always looking for content creators and people who are passionate about esports. To also hear more about our program, go and join our official Discord server by going to discord.gg slash utdesports. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me on there. Um, we're always looking for student involvement. We're going to be doing tournaments on campus next year, and we're going to be definitely needing some student help, whether you're an A-Tech major and want to do animations, um, want to do like Twitch highlights and things like that, or if you just want to get involved, um, feel free to let us know. We're always super flexible and always looking for students to help get involved. My tips for the first few weeks um, when starting college is definitely just finding a balance of things with academics and then going to the weeks of welcome events. Those are huge. You'll meet tons of friends and have so much fun. A mascot is a fictional character which universities bring to life to encompass school spirit. Here at UT Dallas, our official mascot is Timok, which is comet spelled backwards. Timok is a comet in human form. Go Timok! Tip on getting internships is reaching out, getting connected, and networking. Those are huge factors as being a business student. So um, definitely reach out to companies and show why you would be a potentially good intern. Past summer, I landed an internship as an esports intern with Fanguru. Um, basically, how that worked is I was able to um, get involved by being in our esports program here at UT Dallas. And just through that, I was able to network and connect with other people. And from there, they were able to offer me an internship, which I truly loved and had a great experience. So um, basically, getting involved on campus is a huge factor on how you can get internships. The question I got um, from DMs was, how do I 
how does one engage with students here at UTD? And the answer to that is going out to events. Don't stay in your dorm, go out to events, go to clubs, sign up for organizations. There's gonna be an organization kind of fair out on the plinth um, and at the reflection pools, um, kind of the first week of school. So sign up for organizations. Even if you're semi-interested in organizations, it's truly such a great time to get involved here at UTD. Um, your college experience is not only gonna be less stressful, but it's gonna be so much better if you're involved in one, two, or even a few organizations here at UTD. So do that. And then um, when you start classes, make friends. Um, first day of classes, kind of sit with people that, you know, you're like, hey, uh, my name is Eric, and how was your summer? And do kind of like things like that. Make a group chat, get study buddies, and um, you'll truly be able to interact with people here. Um, everyone's in the same boat. We're all like kind of nervous and scared that we're starting college and like we don't know anyone. So um, it's truly easy to just uh, reach out to people and make new friends. Another question I got was how do I build my resume as a college student? So first off, software, I use Enhanced CV. This is what my resume looks like. It's a free service, definitely use it. As we're getting this stuff on your resume, get involved on campus. Um, just do activities, do clubs, do organizations everything you can do on your resume will help boost it like um, for me uh, I the titles I hold are a student director of esports at UT Dallas I was a social media manager for food and dining services I was an esports intern a community manager for a game dev company that I did on the side and then a few other things from high school as well as uh, things I do on campus so things like that will definitely help boost your resume skills and um, really make you stand out that's what you really want to do is stand out to uh, employers and have them like just show them how unique you are compared to everyone else. The thing that will really stand you out to companies nowadays especially is having a good social media presence as well as a really professional and active LinkedIn. So as you can see I use social media quite a lot so I have a personal brand for myself um, and then I also have a very active um, LinkedIn. So as you can see I do post quite often on my LinkedIn and then engage with other people on there. So that is huge especially when people google your name. This question is sadly a question I cannot answer since I'm an undergraduate student, but be sure to go to gendal.utdallas.edu to find out more information about these academic type of questions. Since I'm out of questions to answer, I think I'm gonna just kinda talk about my experience as a freshman here at UT Dallas. So I'm from Richardson, Texas, and um, when I was starting UTD, I was very nervous. I was not sure if I was gonna make friends. I was like, you know, this is such a new place. This is such a new environment. Even though it's kinda like my backyard, um, it's the same distance I drive as if I was going to high school. I was like, you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit in and stuff like that. And first thing, I faked it until I make it. Um, I think that's a huge thing. Uh, just fake it till you make it. Everyone is in the same boat. We're all at a new place. We are all worried about making friends and things like that. So definitely fake it until you make it. Um, do that. And then second, get involved. I uh, went to the last orientation. And so my, I was nervous about like, oh no, I didn't get to go comic camp. I didn't go do these amazing things. Sorry, meet with people. And what I did is I started this thing called UTD Comet Life, which actually was UT Dallas 2022. And I welcomed every single freshman I found on Instagram. And from that, I was able to know people before school even started. I was able to make a group chat, make the discord, which is now um, the UT Dallas student discord, um, a link will be somewhere here. You can go there um, and connect with thousands of students. We have over 2,000 students on there, so that's really cool. Um, something that I started with a few friends, um, which has been a great resource. Um, go follow UT to Comet Life. Um, because we make these really cool things, uh, these cool platforms for you to really connect with other UT Dallas students. And then um, I just went to the org fair at orientation. I signed up for so many things. I just got involved. I overloaded kind of myself with organizations to do on campus. And because of that, I was able to make so many friends and faking it till you make it high key the best thing you can do. Um, and just get out of your comfort zone because at college, I know there's a lot of people that sometimes feel like there's no student life here at UTD, but we honestly, ha like this is my home. The UTD is my proud home. I love the school spirit here, which is why I also joined cheer. Um, I did eSports. I um, did a lot of other organizations here on campus. I like did gymnastics for a bit, and then I did like swimming for a bit. So like even if you're semi-interested, go for it. Please, please just go for it. Get involved because like truly like, making friends is like so much fun and you're gonna love it here like freshman utd 2023 whether you're incoming this year whether you're returning this year whatever like you're gonna love it here and if you ever ever need help 
everyone, uh, I am signing off from the Gentle School page. Um, thank you guys so much for asking your questions today and partaking and following me in my social media takeover. Um, shout out to Hannah, she's the social media manager for the UTD Gentle page um, for letting me do this. It was honestly such an experience and uh, until next time, go Comets.